Lincoln, I play drums. I'm Kyle and I play bass. I'm Trevor, I play guitar. I'm Bree and I sing. I'm Nick and I play guitar. And we're, and we're the, the new royalty, royalty and you're watching Project Green Room. Room. So here we are with the new royalty in the same room where you guys did your photo shoot for When Poets Dream. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. It's cool. It's, it's nice. It's chill. Yeah. Oh, okay. I let you in here. It's cool. I mean. So the last time we caught up with you guys was back in November at Starwind Ballroom. Mm -hmm. A lot has changed since then. You know. Yeah. You guys have to play Bamboozle. You're slated to play Warp Tour. You've done a million shows in there. Let's talk about the road to the Bamboozle. The, the three month grueling road of blood, sweat, tears, of joy. <laughs> How did you guys get the bamboozle? The it was break a lot contest. of work. Yeah. yeah, a lot of work in the break contest, of course. What promo tools did you guys use to get there? I know it was you know, a lot to do with getting fans out to the shows. Chemical Maybe. X. <laughs> no, like Facebook, Twitter. A lot um, of Facebook. Yeah, a lot of like, um, internet. <laughs> Promoting Fa oh, Facebook's, sorry, what's like called? The, <laughs> Facebook's like the key promotion. Yeah. But we made a lot of videos. Yeah. Too. yeah a lot we of made videos. a lot of videos about it. Videos. Yeah. Video fun. updates, informing our fans what we're doing. So, so how was your your time at Bamboozle? You guys got to play the same day as Taking Back Sunday, the Gaslight Anthem. So much fun. It was really good, and we got a really good time. Uh, right in the middle of the day, around six o'clock, and. We got a lot of fans to the stage, especially when we played uh, 30 Seconds to Mars cover, The Kill. judges raved about you guys was your stage presence, you know, your energy on stage, how you don't stand still, how you make use of the whole stage. Well, how do you guys, what goes into making that live show? Practice. Like we're on stage, yeah. 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 Does yeah. your manager like drill you to death? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But. Well, it's also the music that pushes us. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's not like music where you just stand still and you just kind of chill out. You kind of rock hard to it. So. Yeah, you have to feel it. Yeah. Like, it's it's just fun. So, like, we're just having fun on stage. It's not, like, really work at that point. Once we're on stage, it's more just having fun. At this point, we learn all the music to its full potential. So now we're just having fun on stage. Mm -hmm. Now, since the bamboozle, have you guys noticed any, you know, more likes on Facebook, more, you know, new fans? From oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, from last year's Warp Tour, we had a lot of fans. Like, like, um like us on Facebook and everything and we had a lot of people come up to us about it because we handed out so many promotional items and uh, at the Bamboozle the same thing happened. Now you mentioned Warp Tour, you guys are back again two years in a row, mm -hmm. Ocean Port again, July 24th. Yeah. <laughs> How does it feel to be back the second year? Amazing, Fantastic. awesome, without a doubt. Seriously. I actually plan on watching some of the bands this year. Oh, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> yeah too. What are you yeah, yeah. this year? I remember one, I really want to see Devil Wears Prada. Okay. Um, yeah. Simple Plan's back.
Now, I understand this was a different writing process than all the songs on One Poet's Dream. What did you guys do differently this time to make this song? Um, I remember uh, Brittany first brought up like the like the very beginning of the song, and she brought it to the band to like kind of work on. And um, at first, we started like working on it. We couldn't really come up with anything. So for some reason, we decided to go outside and work on it. And once we did that, like we started like just ideas started flowing, yeah. and like we just started getting like all these ideas for it and. Then Trevor said something that just just really worked, and that's how the song happened. Basically, yeah. So you guys write songs outside? I don't yeah. know. It was weird. Yeah. We it just went just outside. Like we decided to go chill outside with our acoustic guitars and just write, and it came out like, like in ten minutes. It came to the time now that we actually really start writing together as a band, and ideas flow more easily, and uh, we work together. Even better now. Yeah, when we stopped writing, we were mostly like focused on uh, perfecting our stage performance right. and perfecting <coughs> our playing in general and just our reactions with each other. But now that we started writing again, it's actually really exciting, you know. Feels yeah. fresh. <laughs> so. Yeah. Now this is the first time you five are writing together as a band. Do you notice any difference between you know like a year ago writing you know the songs on One Poet's Dream, a different direction maybe the songs are going in? Yeah, we have I mean, a lot of ideas. We have our them. poppy side and then our heavier side, and I mean, kind of just trying to bridge those genres somehow. It has to do with us collectively <laughs> playing live together. I, I don't really think it matters, like, you know, oh, he likes the heavier stuff, I like the poppier stuff. You know, just coming together and being able to form the bond that we have on stage. I mean, I could play polka music or reggaeton or pop punk, and it would be Awesome. With these Lately, guys. especially with writing new stuff, I've noticed that we we've been hanging out more. We've grown tighter, um, more creative. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited for all the new stuff. And, yeah, we've yeah. known each other for so long now, so. Not getting sick of each other yet. No, we're family. A little bit. Yeah, we have our moment. <laughs> out there um, I can even you know as far as even bigger bands everywhere you go to every show they're wearing your t-shirts it's a street team on them they were promoting that bamboozle the braid contest but for the warp tour how does it feel to have a bunch of loyal street teamers to back you guys up it's it's really good to have them especially when it comes to shows you're promoting and then with merch you know they help us out with selling merch and stuff and then you see like random kids having our shirts and it's really nice to see that because you're like, oh, I don't know this person. Like, they're into us. So it's cool. What was really weird is uh, one of my good friends, Shane, he was wearing a shirt and he walked into a bank. And then the, the teller like looked at his shirt and was just like, wait, my sister loves that band. Or, uh, sorry, daughter. Yeah. Yeah. That was, it was just weird, you know. We know we stretched into banks. <laughs> <laughs> We're making, making money. Bank. We're making bank. Making bank. Yeah. <laughs> Nine months later, what has been your best moment since the release of One Poet's Dream? Bamboozle and Warped. Definitely. Because those are our biggest shows that we've played so far. And those are the best shows we've played so far. One of my favorite shows that we did was the CD show. Because it was amazing. You know, we had, you know, one of our friends' bands, Finale Hill, and also Jersey, open. And I mean, I feel like it was ridiculous to have like that many people come just you know for us headlining releasing our album and you know people came from all over friends family i had someone that came from california for it like it was people cool. that was my favorite yeah i think my best part was like after after that show just going back and like signing and seeing like how many people really went how many people were like interested in buying stuff and like getting an autograph from you it was just it was crazy yeah it was like it 
Not, I don't know. It was just like they accidentally, or accidentally, they actually ended up having to throw us out because like, like the people wouldn't stop coming to the table. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah like the uh, place that we had the see release show, like they were closing and like we were still there signing stuff and like I remember like the custodians and everything were just so mad. <laughs> yeah, it was so They're mad. just like, okay, I have to go now. It was yeah. at my middle school and the middle school's bigger than my high school, so it's like the auditorium is huge. huge. Nice. Yeah. Oh my awesome. god. <laughs> I remember oh, trying to load really? up. Oh, I'm sorry. I remember trying to load up. Um, the gear and stuff and like all the people like being there and like yelling at us telling us to go we're just trying to pack up and leave and it was it was really funny so much to us that you've been here since the very start and you stayed with us through all this through thick and thin through our work tour through bamboozle and through our tiny little acoustic shows thank you so much and it means so much to us yep yeah thanks for spreading the word too and thanks for all those online competitions and our street team members yes we voted all of our stuff love us shows yeah <laughs> love you <laughs> For more information, go to www.thenewroyaltymusic.com. You can check out our music, our videos, and all of our pictures. Well, I found the one that I adore. Taste go by and I learn more. It's all I really care about. Now it fills me whole with doubt. Your secrets, they are 